Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about layers and layers panel in Adobe Photoshop CC. Anytime you create a composite or composition of a series images and you put them on the top of each other, they stack on the top of each other in the form of layers. So if you go to the layers panel, you see all these elements are stacked on the top of each other. Unfortunately, if you do not rename them properly, they will be named as layer 1, 2, 3, etc. So it's a great idea to name your layers as you go. At this point, I have no idea which one is this one. I would like to find it and rename it to Moon. So what you can do is you can use the eyeball to make it invisible. Okay, I was lucky the first layer I clicked on it happened to be the moon so now I know that's the moon layer now I can double click here and change it to the moon I can do the same thing with each layer select the layer click on the visibility icon or the eyeball to figure out which one is which and you need to do this for every single layer here um, if you wanted to remove a layer you can just grab it from here and drag it to the garbage bin and it goes away if you wanted to, I'm just going to undo that one. If you wanted to duplicate a layer, for instance, we have three of these starships here. I want to create a fourth. So I'm going to go find, okay, that one, the big one. I like to duplicate this one. I can do it in so many different ways. I can grab it and drag it over create new layer. Or I can right click on it and duplicate layer. Or even better, I can use the keyboard shortcut of Control J or Command J. Anytime you duplicate a layer, it sits right on the top of it. So we need to go to the Move tool and move the item. There you have it. And um, if you wanted to resize any of these layers, uh, you need to press Control T or Command T to go to the Transform. Um, tool and I'm going to hold on shift grab the corner and resize this one so there you have it um, if you wanted to rotate a layer you can do the same thing with transform so I'm, I'm going to press control T one more time and then when you bring the cursor to the corner you see it turns to a curved double-headed arrow you can drag that and rotate the layer. When you're done, you press enter or return. Um, there's also layer opacity. You can select the layer. Uh, I'm on this layer now, and I'm going to change the opacity to 50%. So you see it became more opaque. Um, if you wanted to create a blank layer, also you can create click on create new layer to create a blank layer a blank layer I'm just gonna rename it blank um, it's created here because I was on the top of this layer you can grab it and move it anywhere you want and uh, it's just a blank blank layer there's nothing on it you can add some effects color or whatever you want to, to add to it later uh, you can also change the order of the panels for instance at this point, if I have this layer, you see it's residing under this mothership, and that is that one. I can relocate that and bring it down below this ship. So now you see this starship is hovering over this layer. So it's that easy with the move tool. You can click and move these. You can click and drag and move these to change the ordering of the stack. And that's about it about the layers panel in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.